This is the Apple Insider Review of the brand new iPhone 11. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And this is our iPhone 11. The iPhone 11 is essentially a newer version of the iPhone XR, and it's better in pretty much every way. It comes in new colors and has a bunch of new features, including the super beefed up camera. It's more durable than ever and even has improved water resistance, being able to stay submerged for twice as long as the iPhone XR. As the de facto replacement for the iPhone XR, one of the most popular iPhones in history, we're going to compare that mostly at the beginning of this review. The two phones are very similar. They have similar designs, the lighter weight, aluminum bodies, they have the LCD displays that pretty much have remained unchanged. They have Face ID, and of course the new one has all the new features, including the two cameras along the back. But otherwise, the iPhone 11 really is just a better, faster, newer iPhone XR. If you were okay with some of the shortcomings of the iPhone XR, you'll be okay with the iPhone 11, and even impressed with the new features. Let's start off by looking at some benchmarks. We're going to start with the Antutu benchmark, then go to Geekbench 4, and even Geekbench 5. The lengthy Antutu benchmark tests a variety of different categories, each giving them their own independent score and the total score above. In totality, the iPhone 11 got more than 30% higher score than the iPhone XR. We saw the biggest gains in things like GPU and even on memory. The GPU scored almost 50% more than it did on the iPhone XR. We can really start to see the improvements from the A13 Bionic processor. Moving on, we're going to hit up Geekbench 4. And yes, there is the newer version, Geekbench 5, already out, but we want to get some numbers and some data and test both the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XR on iOS 13 and compare it to previous Geekbench scores we've seen in the past. There's a lot of analysis to do and we don't have Geekbench 5 scores for a lot of previous devices. On Geekbench 4, the single core saw about a 15% improvement, and on the multi-core score, we saw a nearly 40% improvement. Moving on, we retested both devices again running iOS 13 with the Geekbench 5 test this time around. Geekbench 5 yielded a roughly 20% improvement on the single core testing, and on the multi core testing, we saw a more substantial 40% improvement. Those are some pretty big gains year over year for this device. So if you were happy with the performance of the iPhone XR, and to be honest, it was a really snappy device, then the performance on the iPhone 11 should really blow you away. It is the same processor that is included in the iPhone 11 Pro too. Apple touts that the iPhone 11 will get one more hour of battery life over the iPhone XR, and it's kind of hard to say for sure. We tested it and we still got improved battery life, but there's no real scientific way with all the variables to say for sure. We can say with certainty though that it didn't get worse battery life. Out of all the small things that Apple improved upon, the biggest thing that changed with the iPhone 11 is the cameras. This time around, there are two lenses. There's a standard wide lens that we had last year that's been improved with 100% coverage of focus pixels, which will help ensure faster autofocus in low light. And then we have the new ultra wide angle lens. It allows you to do this, capture twice as much horizontally or vertically in your photos than you could in the past. We're sure to see a lot of really awesome ultra wide photos. We also saw the improvement of portrait mode. Thanks to two lenses, it can now capture portrait mode photos stereoscopically, which means it doesn't have to be of people. It can now be of objects such as our iPod mini or even of pets. Those were two big limitations on the iPhone XR. Another huge deal for the iPhone 11 is night mode. If we cover the lens, you can see automatically in that top left hand corner, night mode is enabled because it kind of thinks it's night. You can automatically adjust that exposure and Apple actually takes a bunch of images and blends them together. So you shouldn't have too much movement in your photos when you're snapping them. Here are a couple sample photos. And I have to say, it was really hard to get our dogs to stay sitting still for at least three seconds, but the photos still came out really sharp, and it was almost pitch black outside when we captured these images. We couldn't even see the colors on this plant or on this tiny little birdhouse. These were just a couple photos we captured around us, but there's certainly so much more you can do. With the iPhone 11, Apple also updated the way to capture quick videos or burst photos. Now, with Quick Take, simply tap the photo button to take a picture or hold it down and instantly start to capture a video. You can swipe right to go ahead and lock it into place, but maybe you want to take a burst photo instead of jumping into a video. In that case, you simply touch the button and swipe left and hold. 
As you can see, the counter is going up and you can see how many images you're taking. It's easy and intuitive. Looking at the front facing camera, that has been overall improved as well. There's slightly faster face ID, it's been upgraded to 12 megapixels, it can scope out to take ultra wide angle photos, and it can even take some slow fees. These quick videos can be captured at 120 frames per second. The camera really is a huge step forward, and the iPhone 11 is a lot closer to the iPhone 11 Pro than the iPhone XR was to the iPhone XS. The 11 Pro still has a bunch of other features that the iPhone 11 doesn't, and for photos, it does have the telelens with dual optical image stabilization. So if you zoom in a lot on your photos, that's going to make the biggest difference between the two phones, but otherwise, the iPhone 11 is extremely capable and far better than the iPhone XR. We're really impressed with the iPhone 11. It is a huge step forward. It's better in almost every single way. It does miss a couple features that the iPhone 11 Pro has, but for most people out there, the iPhone 11 is a slam dunk. It's better, faster, and cheaper than ever before. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.